ऑनरेबल मिर्ज़ा मोहम्मद आफरीदी डिप्टी चेयरमैन सैनेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान डॉक्टर हसन मोहुद्दीन कादरी चेयरमैन ऑफ द सुप्रीम काउंसिल ऑफ मिनाजुल कुरान इंटरनेशनल वर्दी वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर साजिद महमूद शहजाद मेंबर बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर्स खुर्रम नवाज गंडापुर अवर ऑनरेबल गेस्ट डॉक्टर तरुणजीत बटालिया इन ऑल अदर ऑनरेबल रिस्पेक्टेबल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड वेरियस वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन esteemed guests faculty members and most importantly the graduating students and their parents today on this auspicious occasion of the convocation with great pleasure and enthusiasm i extend a warm welcome to all of you who have graced this occasion with their presence your presence both guests and students is a testament of the validity of minhaj university's ever expanding academic community heartiest congratulations are in order for our graduating students who have achieved gold medals across the spectrum of phd mphil and bachelor degree programs of course your dedication and academic accomplishment have not only earned you well deserved recognition but have also brought pride to your own university minhaj university lahore as you embark on the next chapter of your life which would be the professional life my sincere hope is that you carry forward the values instilled here which are integrity honesty and a commitment to serve this humanity to our graduating students this is a moment of celebration for your hard work and accomplishments as you step into your professional life i extend my heartfelt best wishes urging you to channel your skills and expertise towards the betterment of this society may you contribute to the humanity with the same honesty integrity and fairness which are the characteristics of minhaj university lahore our unwavering dedication to delivering education that is both affordable and of superior quality distinguishes minhaj university lahore our commitment to values and training our students well is again a distinguishing feature of minhaj university lahore i believe our students showcase through a significant contributions to the socio economic development of this society and world at large minhaj university transforms lives and we strongly hope that you individual after graduating today will transform this nation and world at large esteemed graduates as you step into the next chapter of your life after completing your university education i would like to offer some thoughts that might assist you on your journey into your professional life the transition from academic life to the practicalities of the professional arena can be both exciting as well as challenging and i hope these ideas which i am going to present here will serve as a helpful guide for all of you dear students despite economic crisis 
and unemployment challenges in Pakistan, young graduates can still explore economic opportunities. Here I would like to mention few of them. Dear students, if you have big ideas and want to create something new, entrepreneurship and startups are the way to forward. Many young graduates are exploring entrepreneurship by starting their own businesses with creative ideas from resources like incubators and accelerators. They are launching startups in areas like technology, e-commerce, social enterprise, and creative industries. Entrepreneurship gives them the chance to work for themselves and create jobs for the country and providing an avenue for both personal and professional growth. To support you in this journey, Minhaj University Lahore has set up the Startup Center, which is dedicated to nurturing and encouraging innovative thinking. It provides all facilities free of charge and it helps you to focus on developing ideas or businesses. It will assist you along the way you go towards your professional goals and objectives. At Minhaj University Lahore, we champion new ideas, entrepreneurship and innovation. If you have an innovative idea, believe in your potential and aspire to be a job provider than the job seeker. With the growth of online platforms and working from home, freelancing has become a viable option for the people of Pakistan. This means that if you have skills in things like graphic designing, programming, writing, digital marketing or web development, you can find work on websites where people from around the world post their jobs. You might also get a chance to work for clients who are not in Pakistan, but from other countries. So as a graduate with these skills, you have an opportunity to take on freelance projects or work from your home for clients globally. It's a flexible way of working from home for clients and dear audience, it can bring you more revenues and money and you can help your families and country in a more better way. Getting better at a certain skills can make it easier for the graduates to find jobs. There are programs run by Minhaj University as well as other various national and international institutions where their programs, they train you how to give interviews so that you can be hired by the great and big organizations around the world. These programs give graduates a practical skills that companies are looking for, making them more likely to get hired. So if you join these skills development programs, you can learn useful things that and make you a better candidate for the job. Once you finish your education, should you keep in touch with your educational institution by staying connected with your alma mater, you will grow professionally and stay updated on what's happening in your field. This connection is like a key that can unlock doors for your professional career. I can, it can help you move forward and do better in your jobs and professional life. It's like having a support system that you can guide and you can keep moving in the right direction in the relevant field of yours. I'm sure some among, some among you would be interested in non-profit sector as well. Again, whatever Minhaj University has instilled in you in the form of compassion, in the form of love for humanity, in the form of love for the society and love for Pakistan, I believe if anyone among you would consider a not-for-profit sector or an NGO sector for your professional career,
I am sure you have enough in you to become a right candidate for that sector as well. So look for those jobs as well. I am sure they will find a lot in you and appreciate what you have been learning in these years at Minhaj University Lahore and you all have been trained for. Dear audience and esteemed students, Minhaj University has fueled your passion, inspired you to be innovative and widened your outlook. Now as you start your professional journey, remember and live by these good ideas which Minhaj University has taught you. They will really help you to climb the ladder in the society. Stick to what Minhaj University has taught you. And dear audience, by following these values, you not only keep Minhaj University's spirit alive, but also make your own path towards success. So hold on to it those principles tightly and they will lead you to personal satisfaction and achievement in your professional life. Dear students, towards the end of my discourse, I will leave my heartfelt message for you all. I believe if you all take that along, you will find it helpful in your professional and practical life. And what that message is, the message I want to speak about is that you are starting your professional journey from now on. Put your heart in your work and you will see rewards. Both tangible and intangible will naturally follow you. However, it is important not to expect thanks or recognition from others. If you expect these things, and they do not happen in your life, it can make you feel sad and depressed. So focus on working hard in your field and do not look for rewards from people. Instead, think about those rewards which directly come from Allah Almighty. This mindset can help you stay strong in your life even when you are facing challenges. Also cultivate the virtue of gratitude in yourself and be grateful to your Lord Almighty. Being thankful will not make you feel bad no matter what happens in your life. It is a mindset that helps you stay positive in your life. So as you step into your professional life, that's you. Give it your all, whatever you do. Do not rely on others for recognition and trust that your hard work will bring its own reward from Allah Almighty. The way you will fulfill your goals and objectives, that's how your journey will proceed towards success. To grow professionally, it is imperative that you stay well informed about the latest developments in your chosen field. Securing a degree is often considered ticket to a successful career. Yet the reality for many graduates, this is another important message which I would like you all to take along. After graduating, many among you would start facing challenges while hunting the jobs. Some might among you, you will find them lucky enough that they might land up in their dream jobs. But some of you would really face challenges while looking for the right job. So stick to your chosen line of your profession and do not drift away because this is the challenge. When you are not finding your right type of job, this is the time when people drift away and leave their own professions and try to do other work, little works in the society. And whatever the years they have invested in learning into a specific area and field, and some point of time after the years, everything is gone and wished away, and they cannot see the objective and career in their life. So this is the challenging point where you have to have a patience in your life and keep trying 
and looking for the jobs in your own area and field. Remaining true to your professional path builds expertise and experience, paving the way for more fulfilling career in your long run. If you observe patience in securing good job without drifting away from your profession, your steadfastness will eventually yield positive results. Your, in essence, don't give up on your chosen field despite the ups and downs. It's a strategy that can lead to rewarding and successful profession in your life. Upon completing university education, this is another important message which I would like you all to take along. Upon completing our degrees and education, most of the time our graduates hope for high paying jobs. Listen to that please. Most of the time as soon we graduate from the university, we look for high paying jobs. But companies at the same time typically prefer experienced employees. So when you start, you find, you start, you need to take any reasonable job available in the market in your own field. Even it is not high paying. But if you do not take a job and remain unemployed, depending on your family for support, you will become burdensome. Then the expectation placed on you by your family to contribute to the household income may lead to frustration in your life. Furthermore, if you go without job for few years, you might lose touch with your profession, making it hard to find work in your own field. That is why it is important to take a job soon after obtaining your career degree. As you work and gain experience, better chances are good opportunity can come in your way. While aiming for a good salary, of course, it is, a, it is a legitimate aspiration. But at the same time, it is important to think rationally about your long-term career perspectives and your daily basis financial needs. So balancing the need for money now with the long-term goal of getting relevant experience is the key to success. Finding this balance ensures that even if you have to make some compromises at the start of your professional career. It is a journey that needs a smart approach to building your career. Having graduated from Minhaj University, Lahore, you bear the responsibility of contributing towards the betterment of society, both through your words and actions. You are the architects of future. People are looking towards you. And of course, by having Minhaj University's name next to your name and the name of Sheikhul Islam, Professor Dr. Muhammad Tahirul Qadri next to your names, of course, people's expectations are rising and they expect a lot from you that when you will be graduating from this university and going in your professional areas, people will expect honesty from you. People will expect dedication from you. People will expect hard work from you. People will expect truth from you. And people will expect innovation and creativity from you. Why? <clears throat> because you all are coming from such an institution whose characteristics are honesty, integrity, fairness, innovation and discipline. So dear students, remember as you contribute selflessly to societal advancement, Society itself will reciprocate with love and recognition you deserve. But never expect from people. Never wait people. Never wait that, that people can come and start respecting you and acknowledging you. As I have mentioned, that will make you depressed. So only expect all the rewards from Allah Almighty. And keep on working for whatever area you have been educated for and whatever area or field you have chosen for your professional life. Dear audience, furthermore, embrace a lifelong commitment to learning as continuous education is the key
to staying relevant and ensuring that your skills remain sharp and applicable in the society. Furthermore, the pursuit of knowledge is not a solitary endeavor. Foster a mindset, collaborating and exchanging with others good ideas, engaging with your peers, engaging with your mentors and industry experts to enrich your understanding and perspective, networking and staying connected with professionals in your field will not only enhance your knowledge, but also open doors to various opportunities in your life you may not have otherwise encountered. You are your alma mater. Minhaj University Lahore has equipped you with tools to make a difference in the world. Now it is your duty to utilize these tools and skills in you effectively and contribute towards the betterment of the society. In conclusion, remember that the success is not the solely measured by personal achievements only, but also by the positive impact you can create on the world around you. Minhaj University Lahore has led the groundwork. It is now your responsibility to build upon it, ensuring the future that reflects the values of knowledge, passion and progress. Embrace the challenges, stay curious and let your journey of knowledge be an everlasting expedition towards personal and societal excellence. In a journey of life, challenges are inevitable and you will often find yourself at crossroads. This is another important message. You will find yourself many times at crossroads where decisions between right and wrong must be taken. It is during these moments that choosing the straight path, even when it appears challenging, ensures success not only in this world, but also in hereafter. Understand that therefore, please understand that Almighty is the only ultimate master of your destiny and no one else. No one can change your destiny. It is the only Allah Almighty who is the real master of your destiny. This will keep you away from compromising on wrongdoings, compromising on weak things, compromising for those things which are not right and not permissible, neither in Islam, not in human regular principles. So understand that, therefore, placing your trust in Allah during the circumstances is actually the paramount. Living a life of loyalty to Allah Almighty and His beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam actually ensures a sense of tranquility and contentment in everyone's heart. Moreover, foundation of fulfilling life is built upon showing respect to others in the society. This is another very important message I believe today's youngsters, they really need that. So actual and real success lies in your respectful behavior towards your parents, towards your elders, towards your teachers and towards your mentors. Respectful individuals tend to thrive as their conduct foster positive relationship and contributes towards harmonious community. Avoiding rudeness and aggression in your behavior, especially towards those who are in your subordination, is essential in your life. Rude people are hollow and empty, but practicing kindness is a virtue that goes a long way. The true blessing lie in being gentle and treating others with respect. Although Rudeness might be a fashion of today or a trend. It does not lead to a genuine success or inspire heartfelt respect. Remaining true to your Muslim identity is a source of strength and fulfillment in your hard times. Sincerity in your faith and pride in being a Muslim contributes to a sense of purpose and belonging. Simultaneously, cherish 
your identity as Pakistani and strive to embody the qualities of productive citizen. In the end, again, I would like to congratulate all the great achievers of today's convocation, all the gold medalists, their parents, and all the graduating students for a wonderful achievements. I would also As like to congratulate all the parents and teachers of these gold medalists and graduating students. It is you who have put all that inspiration in them and made them possible to achieve whatever they have achieved today. I pray to Allah Almighty that Allah Almighty keep you safe, sound, protected and successful in all your future endeavors and also keep this is great university and institution protected and keep developing and keep it developing so that it can become one of the greatest institutions of Muslim Ummah in this world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Dr. Hussein Mohyud.